Actor Dennis Quaid has done it all. From dramas to comedies, you've seen him in classics like The Right Stuff, Any Given Sunday. He even played Jerry Lee Lewis. But Dennis Quaid's now done something that nobody's ever been able to do. Scare the heck out of Jesse Waters. Quaid has a new documentary out, Grid Down, Power Up, which explores the frightening possibility of our energy's grid going down. Heat, gas for our cars, transportation for food restocking, all of it relies to some extent on electricity. But no one likes to focus on what could happen if it all suddenly is taken away. star of the upcoming Amazon film, On a Wing and a Prayer, Dennis Quaid joins me now. So people have tried to take out our energy grid. There was some sort of f attack with weapons many oh, years been, ago in there's, California. There's been several uh, attacks on substations. I heard about one a couple of months ago. And this is not day after tomorrow, by the way. This is tomorrow, I think. It could, it could happen. And uh, it, uh, it's, it's a problem that we could fix. It's basically this. In 2003, right here in New York, you know, there was a, a wire that brushed up against a tree limb, and it took out uh, the electricity in, in New, for New York for, for two days. There was, that was just a small little event. But at a GMT event, like a bad actor could take out through a Chinese balloon, for all we know, or... Uh, oh, or a, so they uh, could have put a little something-something on that balloon, or exploded it over the United States, and we lose power for how long? Well, it could be up to, like, 30 days. But what we're talking about is, a like, a uh, nuclear explosion up in space. A nuclear explosion in the atmosphere above the United States could unleash a burst of invisible electrical energy that, within a fraction of a second, could wash over this country and overload all of our most sensitive electronic devices, including the nation's power grid. Just 30 days without electricity, it would take us back to 1880, and you wouldn't be able to get gas, you wouldn't be able to get food. You know, the police would stay home, take care of their own families, it'd be, we'd be... Uh, and you can't just, even survive three days without water, and it would affect the water system as well. Yes, exactly. And we keep talking about it, but nothing ever gets done. Again, the, the question I'd ask, what have we actually, we've taken it seriously, what have we actually done other than literally admire the problem? There are plans for hurricanes, there are plans for snowstorms, there are plans for earthquakes. There is no plan for a cyber attack that would be infinitely longer in duration and more widespread than any of those natural disasters. Energy companies don't want to pay for it. Uh, the utilities companies don't want to pay for it. It's something we could put uh, in our budget over time and uh, we uh, get about $50 billion of a, what is it, a $5 trillion budget that we have. But over time, this is something that if it does happen, um, it's going to make the, the COVID look like a kid's show. Wow. I mean, $50 billion, we send that to Ukraine in about a week. Yeah. That shouldn't be that much to do. You also have this coming out on a wing and a prayer. I've got an emergency up here. My wife and daughters are on this plane. I need you to stop a plane crash. You're the only person I know who can save them. Has he flown a King Air? Never. You like playing real people. Tell us about that. Yeah. Wing and a prayer is a true story. Doug, uh, Doug White, who... Uh, didn't know how to fly. He had had one sort of discovery flight that he was scared to death of. And he took his family to uh, Miami to, uh, for his brother's funeral. And he had chartered a plane, a King Air, which is a complicated airplane, twin engine. I fly him myself. And uh, they were climbing out of the airport, and the pilot just keeled over and died right there at the yoke of a kind of a widow maker heart attack. Wow. And 
So I've always wanted to do a movie where they go, can anybody fly the airplane? <laughs> <laughs> mayday, mayday, mayday. I've got an emergency up here. I've, uh, I've got an uh, unconscious pilot. Do you find, like, in Hollywood, you have to hide your political opinions? Um, yes and no. I mean, I'm an independent. You know, I've always been an independent. I've voted both ways my, my whole life depending on which way the pendulum goes. I'm not really happy with the way the pendulum is right now, <laughs> but, uh, I'm, <laughs> but I, I am an independent. How would you fix I things? I think Republicans and Democrats really need each other. They do. They really do. They do. I mean, the we need the Democrats to kind of, like, pull us along the way, and they need us to kind of, like, go, hey, wait a minute, yeah, you know, this... Let's use some common sense here. You, you said you like playing guys. Can anybody land this plane? How would you land this plane, this country? How would you bring us down gracefully here? I, would, I think we all have to take a breath, and I think we need to come together on some basic things. And it takes, I guess it takes time to do that. Right now, we're so separated, se more separated than, I mean, I went through the 60s, and that was... Uh, it wasn't like this. And if I knew, I guess uh, I could be president. But uh, <laughs> I can't really tell you how to do it except to start small with, uh, with your neighbors and uh, everybody just learn to get along and let's do something positive for this country. You'd probably fire a few people. Yeah, I would. But, uh, you know, it usually takes some kind of big thing like World War II really brought... It really, you know, we really got our act together when that came up. Do you think this country's going to face that type of situation if the grid goes down? Oh, yeah, for sure. It'll be, we'll be back to tribal law by that time. Tri <laughs> yes, that's what it'll come to. Can I follow Dennis Quaid if we go into tribes? <laughs> You're with me and I'm with you, buddy. All right. I'll stick with you. Thank you very much.